please. Good evening and welcome to the sunset service. I, I was asking Jen on the way down how many, how many years we've been doing this, and I think this is the fifth year that we've done this. The last two have been a, a virtual service. And then when I started it in 2018, and then we did a, a memorial service for Kathy Staples as a part of the sunset service in 2019. So it's nice to get back to offering it. I don't know if we have any other announcements other than don't forget, we do have a pilgrimage service coming up. Uh, most of you already know about it, but uh, it's August uh, the 29th, a Sunday at 3 o'clock, and it's out on the east, east lawn. And bring your chair. Bring a chair to sit in. And uh, I think that's really all I've got for announcements. So let's... Surely... The Lord is in this place. This is none other than the house of God, the gateway to heaven. We gather in the name of the living Christ to worship God. Surely God is in this place who calls us to worship in spirit and in truth. God's love is for you and for all people everywhere. The living Christ is with us. God of our mothers and fathers, of all generations who have come before us, holy is your name. We gather in your presence with praise and thanksgiving for the faithful love that you have shown towards your people, for the many blessings you have given to us, your promises are eternal, and they are backed by the honor of your name. Thank you for your faithful presence among us, even when we are not fully aware of it. Continue to reveal yourself to us. Open our eyes to see you are here among us. Open our ears to hear your word, for surely you are with us in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And the first song we're going to sing is 376. seated. I just want to thank uh, Anita Few, who is a member of my congregation at uh, Yarker at Riverside, and she's the one who is going to be playing for this uh, pilgrimage service here again, who played last year for the outdoor service. My friends, God is our refuge and will not abandon us, and it is in Jesus Christ that we are reconciled to God, and this is a promise of peace and joy made to us this day. Holy One, may, uh, Holy One, Word made flesh, let us come to this Word to be opened, to be surprised. Confound our expectations, clear the cobwebs from our ears, penetrate the corners of our hearts 
with these words of Scripture. We know that you can. We pray that you will. And we wait with great anticipation. Amen. Reverend Phil had selected the reading for today, and it comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 28, verses 10 to 11, and tonight I'm reading from the NSRV. Jacob left Beersheba and went toward Haran, and he came to a certain place and stayed there for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place. And he dreamed that there was a stairway set up on earth. The top of it reached to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And the Lord stood beside him and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham your father, and the God of Isaac, and the land on which you lie I will give to you and to your offspring and your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And all the families of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your offspring. Know that I am with you, and I will keep you wherever you go, and will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave until... I will not leave you until I have done what I had promised, promised to you. Then Jacob woke from the sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And may God bless to us the understanding of the Holy Word. In our story, Jacob was running. He was running for his life. He was running from his past, running in fear and in terror. He was far from home. He may have been feeling lonely and abandoned. The storyteller says simply, that night overtook him. There in the wilderness, he was forced to stop. He had been so preoccupied with running that he hadn't noticed the glorious sunset. Apparently, he was running with just the clothes on his back. He had no resources that, no, that anyone would usually think of bringing for a trip through the wilderness. He brought no backpack. He had no tent. He had no sleeping bag or blanket. Perhaps he had no food or water. Lying down there in the wilderness, he found a stone from that place and used it as a pillow. He fell asleep and dreamed a vivid dream, saw a bright vision. A ladder, a stairway, was set upon the earth and its top reached heaven. Angels, messengers of God, were coming and going on this stairway. God was at the top of the ladder, but then Jacob had a sense that God was there beside him. He awoke with the coming dawn and proclaimed, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of, to heaven, or the gate of heaven. We too find ourselves on a journey a fearsome pilgrimage as individuals. We know that there are things that we fear that bring the darkness that threatens to overwhelm us. For each threatening dark is different. For one, it could be failing health. For another, it is concerned about, concerned about a loved one. And yet for another, it is a debilitating injury caused by an accident. For one, it may be anxiety, depression, or mental illness. We find ourselves on a journey, a fearsome pilgrimage. 
As people of the United Church of Canada, we find ourselves in the midst of that. For us, the threatening dark includes congregations diminishing year by year, the loss of beloved family members, the loss of friends and colleagues who are irreplaceable. And we are confronted by the darkness of our history and our part in our denomination, that the, the part of the do, denomination that played is an instrument of colonialism in the running of Indian residential school, schools where generations of indigenous people were stripped of their language and culture, where little children were ripped from their families and where thousands perished to be laid in unmarked graves. We find ourselves on a journey a fearsome pilgrimage as citizens of the world. For us, the threatening dark includes the war in Ukraine, violence including the horror of school shootings reported almost daily, climate change that threatens the future of our great-grandchildren and our grandchildren and indeed all children of our planet. We find ourselves in this wilderness, overcome by feelings of helplessness, feeling abandoned and alienated. Like Jacob, the darkness overtakes us. But then we recall Jacob's vision, the connection between heaven and earth, the, the ladder, the stairway, and the experience of the angels. God's messengers ascending and descending with God standing above and with the awesome sense that God is standing beside us in this fearsome place which we find ourselves in. God is in this place and we did not know it. We are not abandoned or forsaken. God stands beside us this place of fearsome darkness is the very house of God, the very gate of heaven. God is here. In the circumstances in which we find ourselves on our journey, and we are overtaken when we are overtaken by the darkness in our wilderness places, God is calling us, even us, to reconciliation, to renew, to, to care for one another and to care for the earth. All creatures, great and small, all our relations. God's Spirit inspires, empowers, enables us to respond eagerly to the call, assured that our efforts are needed, assured that the desperate despite the darkness of night overtaking and overwhelming us, the dawn awaits. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to the Creator. Thanks be to Christ. Thanks be to the Spirit. One. Amen.
Jesus taught that where our treasure is, there will be our, our hearts will be also. And in this time of worship, we come bringing our treasures, all that we have and all that we are. And I'm going to, uh, we're not, I, I don't think we need to do a collection actually, Harvey. Everybody can just leave it, unless you want to walk around with the big stick. No, that one's good, but we did just so we put it in a box. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm, I'm going to play a, an offertory hymn right now, uh, 543, and that's... <laughs> May the offerings brought this evening be used as seeds, planted faithfully and nourished, nurtured lovingly, so that God's ways may be realized anew in the world, and grant us the humility we need to plant and then tend your precious garden. Amen. Creator God, in whose love we live and move, we pray for a world crying out to feel loved, wanted, cherished, and unique. Heavenly Father, source of all love, we pray for a world torn apart by conflict and war, a world that lives uneasily in a climate of fear with no clear vision for future days. Heavenly Father, source of all hope, we pray for a world that thinks less of others than of self. A world where division between nations, race, religion, neighbors, and family leads to distrust. Heavenly Father, source of all peace, we pray for a world that is short on happiness, too busy to enjoy this world you have created, too preoccupied with living to appreciate life. Heavenly Father, source of all joy, we pray for a world where spiritual longing is satisfied by fashionable notions and temporary solutions with no thought for tomorrow. Heavenly Father, source of our salvation, we pray for a world that needs to know your love, your hope, your peace, your joy, and your healing grace. We silently pray for those who are near and dear to us. We are in a world that is in need of knowing you, knowing that you are indeed with us, beside us, bringing us light in the darkness. We give you thanks for the light of Christ who teaches us to pray by singing.
And just a note about that piece, it was recorded by a joint choir, a joint choir from uh, East Camden and Odessa uh, Pastoral Charge. They are coming together on Thursday nights, singing together, and we record, the, or somebody records the music. So we're going to sing 437, the day you gave us, and we're going to sing the three verses. My friends, as we leave this place, we go knowing that God will be with us wherever it is that we go. At work, at play, at home, or on vacation, we know that God will be with us wherever we go. Whether we are happy or whether we are sad, on our own or with our friends, we know that God will be with us wherever we go. So let's go out from this place, this stairway to heaven, Go out with joy, because God goes with us, this day and forevermore. Amen.